A global climate change denier recently pointed me to a video by NASA saying that NASA has now proved carbon dioxide, CO2, has been proved to cool the planet and thus NASA no longer agrees with the massive consensus among relevant scientists that man's actions are affecting the global climate. He went so far as to say, so I'd believe NASA before some bogus group of scientists that were paid by a lot of governments to spin a big lie just to squeeze more tax money out of their own peoples. And when describing this to others, he said of the NASA video, I find it rather odd that I have provided him with NASA's scientific findings on how CO2 actually cools the Earth, yet he is not even reading the findings that I have provided for him. That five-minute YouTube video explained it all rather well. I pointed him to NASA's own pages, including the page referenced with the video he pointed to, which made it very clear NASA is not saying what he thinks they are. He was not able to understand. So I'm making this video to help him and anyone else confused by NASA's findings. Let's start with the Earth. We see it here floating in space. Let's zoom in on it and take a look at the atmosphere. Now this is not to scale, but it gets the idea across. Lots of energy from the sun hits the atmosphere. A recent solar flare led to even more energy hitting the Earth's atmosphere. Some of it made it through and warmed the Earth, but 95% was radiated back to space. This, the global climate change denier says, proves carbon dioxide has been proved to cool the Earth. After all, 95% of the energy was sent back to space. But this is wrong. Let us look more closely at the atmosphere. Notice there is a lot of area in the atmosphere too, and there is heat trapped in there. Nothing is saying that the atmosphere is not keeping heat in. Think of a two-sided mirror. If the upper atmosphere can reflect energy out to space, there is nothing saying it cannot also reflect it back down to the planet. Let us think of a common analogy for this effect. Looking at NASA's own site, we find this greenhouse analogy discussed. A greenhouse traps the sun's energy inside and keeps the plants warm. And from the same page, during the day when the sun's energy reaches Earth's atmosphere, most of it goes right through. Some bounces off back into space. At night, most of the sun's energy escapes back into space, but some is trapped inside the atmosphere by the greenhouse gases, further warming Earth. Nothing about NASA's new findings changes any of this. To continue with the greenhouse analogy, what the global climate change denier is doing is walking up to a greenhouse and noticing it is warmer outside of it than he expected, and then concluding that the inside of the greenhouse must be colder than the outside air. After all, the greenhouse is radiating heat, so the inside must be cooler. This, of course, is completely wrong. The inside of the greenhouse is warmer than the outside air. That is what a greenhouse is made to do, and that is what the atmosphere of the Earth helps to do to the planet. Again, nothing about the NASA video or any NASA finding goes against the idea that global climate change is real and largely caused by man. I pointed him to NASA's own pages, including the page referenced with the video he pointed to, which made it very clear NASA is not saying what he thinks they are. He was not able to understand. So I'm making this video to help him and anyone else confused by NASA's findings. If NASA did have such findings, you could be sure they would speak about it in the video and on the page they link to from the video. They do not.